same one apple, take one. Clinging to steep mountain ridge tops, this is the city of Aizor. It is the capital of the northeast Indian state of Mizoram, situated in a mountainous wedge of land between Bangladesh and Myanmar. To the east, across the Bangladesh border, the mountains give out to low hills blanketed in tea. Beyond that, the land becomes flat, planted in rice and crossed by rivers. It stays this way for a hundred kilometers until the Bangladeshi capital, Dhaka. It's a land of plentiful water and rich soil. Because of this, it supports one of the planet's densest populations. And now you can see it says it's downloaded. Recently, geologists have been studying this area in detail. They have discovered something unexpected, hidden deep below the surface, stretching from Dhaka all the way to Aizor. In 2015, the Himalayan nation of Nepal, just north of Bangladesh and India, was rocked by a devastating earthquake. It was the 7.8 magnitude Gorkha earthquake, centered not far from Kathmandu. Destructive earthquakes, or megaquakes, are a fact of life in the Himalaya. The cause is buried many kilometers underground, where two huge plates of Earth's crust began colliding millions of years ago. This process has led to some of the most massive earthquakes on our planet. The colliding of the plates also pushed up the Himalaya. As Earth's tallest wall of rock rose, it interacted with the climate to create the Indian monsoon. All the moisture generated by the monsoon erodes the mountains, washing sediment into great river systems like the Ganges. In turn, the rivers carry more than a billion tons of sediment into Bangladesh and India each year, creating the biggest river delta in the world. The entire delta is built from a huge amount of sediment that has been eroded from the Himalayan mountains and it's deposited in this area. All of that water and sediment sustains people and the rich ecosystems of this area. But it does something else that has been a problem for geologists who work here. One of the impacts of the sediments is that the major faults here that give us the largest risk for an earthquake are buried underneath the sediments of the, of the delta. That makes it hard for scientists to predict uh, yeah, so when the, 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 and where future large earthquakes might occur. Another problem is that a major earthquake has not happened here for over a hundred years, so people are unprepared. From history, there's been a lot of destructive earthquakes in this area. And uh, in the recent few tens of years, we haven't had a big earthquake. So people in this area uh, tend to forget. So it's like a sin deformation. Uh, yeah, Geologists recently stepped up their efforts to better understand the region's earthquake hazards. They have been mapping the mountains of northeastern India, drilling wells and measuring sediments in Bangladesh, and setting up GPS instruments and seismometers. These record movement in the Earth's crust, and they also reveal locked faults, which are called seismic gaps. The scientists' efforts are now paying off. Geologists have found that this whole region is sitting on top of another place where the Indian and Asian plates collide. It's called the Burma Arc Megathrust. Scientists believe that the fault between the plates is locked and stress is building up. They know the fault, or megathrust, has ruptured in the past and will again, causing a massive earthquake. But they're not sure when. And it's, it's flexing sandstone. Well, if and it is an They are urgently working to find out. Sandstone, then there might be a... The stakes are high. 140 million people live on top, or within 100 kilometers, 
of the locked part of the fault. The city of Aizol in northeast India, population 300,000, faces multiple risks. Landslides are common here due to steep slopes and monsoon weather, and most buildings are not strengthened for earthquakes. At the other end of the Burma Arc, another city is at risk. It's the city of Dhaka, Bangladesh, population 16 million in the metropolitan area. Dhaka has grown by leaps and bounds since the last big earthquake struck here centuries ago. Building codes for moderate quakes were enacted in Dhaka in the 1990s, but many buildings are not built to withstand big earthquakes. Our cities are not built uh, in a planned way, so and this cannot be changed in a few years also. So we have to cope with this system and we have to educate our people how to cope with the earthquake. It turns out that there are many things that people can do to get ready for the next big earthquake. And fortunately, the Burma Arc megathrust in this area has not been known to rupture as often as the Himalaya megathrust. But it's a good idea to prepare now. Valuable lessons can be learned from neighboring countries. In Nepal, over 5,000 schools were destroyed in the Gorkha quake, forcing classrooms into temporary structures. But this school in Kathmandu survived because it was retrofitted to resist earthquakes before the quake struck. In the country of Bhutan, which straddles the main Himalaya thrust fault, school officials are installing special new earthquake desks in the schools as a temporary measure. These super strong desks can protect children from falling debris during a big quake. Unlike standard desks, which cannot. In both Bhutan and Nepal, the governments have enacted building codes that require new buildings in many areas to be earthquake resistant. In Bangladesh and India, there are also building codes for earthquake safety. But scientists and engineers want them to be significantly upgraded and enforced. After all, this is one of the most extreme geological terrains on the entire planet. The world's largest river delta. The world's highest mountain range next door and the world's most active plate collision below the surface. All have created the beautiful and bountiful landscape that is home to so many people. With preparation, the dangers that come with living in the world's most extreme geological land can be reduced extremely. <laughs>